Today we're going to be building a house that is amongst and sort of above the trees overlooking the ocean. It's going to be pretty sweet. I was inspired by this post over on the Sim subreddit by the Bearded Architect three months ago. They sort of posted this house design that they had made where instead of changing any of the existing landscape, the house sort of exists above it all. And I think it looks really cool. I think it's got a lot of potential. So I want to do my own take on it. So we're here in Windenburg. I think the first thing I want to do is we well, kind of need to do the landscape. So I think I'm going to get these trees that we have around the place. It's this tree here, which is actually a debug tree. I don't, yeah, you can't, you can't normally get it. But it's this tree here and then they have a few different scales of it. I think we're scaled down a bit. So I guess... Let's, well, let's just place trees and then kind of see what's going to happen. So I think what I'm going to do, uh, how tall does it, do we need to be? Let's find out. So maybe we'll have like a main support structure here. I don't know how big it's going to be. You know, we'll, we'll play around. So that's the tallest wall. I think one of the biggest issues is probably going to be the amount of time it takes your sim to get up and down from here. <laughs> so if I build them, I think if we build on this level, I think this is probably good. Maybe if we make these trees a little smaller. So I'm going to use, uh, let me get rid of that. I'm going to use the wall tool. I'm gonna just going to draw a house shape. I think it'd be kind of cool to have like a diagonal section that sort of faces out towards all the ocean. So I think if we have like a diagonal there, and then what if we had this section of the house come this way? All right, we got, we got to do some pushing and pulling because this is not quite, not really looking how I want. So I'm going to just use these tool. I don't often use the wall tools like that. But I think in a case like this, it might actually be beneficial to help us mold it a little bit better. I actually think maybe, hang on, if I make the lower level taller, make this one a little bit smaller, it could actually be cool to have part of the, not the house, but I just want like a level here. Hang on. Like we could have a just a space down on this level where there's like some hangout potential. Hey, so a little tip, if you didn't know, you can actually use the basement tool on any level. So if I'm up here and I want to build directly below a certain point, like right here, if I use the basement tool right there, it actually builds the walls directly below it on the lower level. Not necessarily a basement, but it helps you build downward a lot easier. So in this case, I can do the same thing on this level, just there. And then that gives me that sort of pillar all the way down. I liked in the original design uh, that the bearded architect did. They had like almost like, they actually had like a, a whole like upper sort of open air balcony and then like a hole in the roof where the sort of tree was. So these are the trees that sort of in this world. I like this tree. Kind of want one slight, I like this. Yeah, actually this is good. But let's go slightly bigger. So I'm gonna use tool mod scale, maybe 1.25. How's that? I like that. I like the look of this tree too. This is also a debug one. I like the vibes of it. And then we do the same sort of balcony, I think, on the this section down here. But it doesn't, it doesn't need to be as big as I made it just before, so we might scale it down a bit. So if we just make this sort of opening a little smaller, then we could have that sort of coming around like that, which is pretty cool. Now, obviously, the house at this point is still very much floating. <laughs> There's very little support. We definitely need another sort of support over this side somewhere. I think that would make sense. That would be pretty big. If we want it to be somewhat realistic, it has to be pretty big. So something like that. Um, now, this first one, I think I might realign this because I just kind of randomly built this originally. So why don't we just replan this whole section here? So we'll line it up at the center of this building as well. And maybe this corner here. Okay, I quite like that. Now this side, the back side is not looking great. I like this, what we've got going on here. And I feel like, you know, it's not a copy paste of the original because I, I very much want to be inspired by the original, but I don't want to just do the same thing, you know? I don't know if I like this lower level now. I think I'm off it. And in which case I might make some of these a little smaller. I think they looked, they kind of needed to be thicker if it was going to have that sort of lower level there. But I think maybe now if we go a bit smaller, that might work a bit better. All right, over on this side, I think if we just did like a, what did they do like an, a walkway sort of out here. Oh gosh, what's happening here? There we go. Then have like maybe a wall there. Oops, wall here. And then at the ends, we definitely want to do some sort of balcony. And I think I, want, I definitely want some sort of wall coming out like this. But yeah, we'll have a bit of shade there and then this can stick out like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And then yeah, depending on the layout, I guess we'll figure out what's happening over there. But I think that's working well. That's, I like that. I like that. Now, is there something I can do about these big pillars? Because obviously right now it's very kind of in your face. Um, I guess there's two ways we can go about it. We can do it like the bearded architect where I think they went for a very uh, contrasting contemporary build. Hey, let me pull it up again because I feel like I'm referencing it, but I only showed it very briefly. So yeah, they've got this very contemporary build using a lot of like stone. I guess the stone could be arguably natural materials from the local area. So, you know, sort of using that. And he said the concept is to preserve the existing trees on the lot by elevating the house over them. Um, but what I want to try and do, I do, I do very much like this. It looks very cool. But can we like make these disappear? Is that something we could do? So if we use the same idea, 
Oh, actually, I really like the Desert Lux concrete. I know the concrete is obviously not making it disappear. So if I paint these in concrete, then what if we make them disappear using a good old mirror trick? Now, actually, this will only look good up close, to be honest. You can see already if I zoom away, it doesn't look good. Here's my idea. Let me do it and I'll show you. All right, I'm not going to bother doing it anymore. So the idea was I was like, oh, what if we do like a mirror, right? So then when you're looking at the house, it's like, wow, there's like there's no column. Looks pretty cool, right? Obviously, the top is a little bit messy because I didn't finish it. But yeah, as soon as your camera is like here, it doesn't look good at all. So I don't think that's a good idea. Another way you can make it disappear is this. This has black. Black can often actually be surprisingly quite good at fading into surrounding scenery. I know obviously you can see them, but with like more fall, if we've got some more bushes and stuff, hang on. You can see now that they kind of start to disappear into the surrounding like trees and foliage. Obviously from this angle where I haven't done stuff, you can't see it as much. You can definitely, and you can definitely still see them. But I think I like that idea because you can, this I feel like definitely blends in with the surrounding landscaping. And actually if we get some of the local rocks as well, ooh, you know what? Some of these could actually be cool to put inside or like sort of blending into those pillars as well. Obviously we need to do more landscape and terrain painting, but oh yeah, <laughs> that's cool. I like that. Okay, and then the upper section of this build. Oh, this is gonna be one of those builds where the camera does this all the time. Awesome. <laughs> I guess I should have seen that coming. Oh, the um, growing together, the metal sheeting. Oh yes, this will be a good, I don't know what color. I'm just doing this one for now. Um, this will be a good base uh, pattern, I think, and then We'll color different walls, different things for accents and all that. Now let's get our, uh, let's figure out this entrance and layout. So obviously I think you spawn on this side a lot. So we'll have the entrance here somewhere. Uh, obviously it's going to be stairs. So I think we definitely have to have like a window or something here in this structure. You know what? Maybe not that. Maybe we go a little bit smaller than the wall height. Really? I can't wait. I can't curve over it. Oh wait, that works. That definitely should be able to go underneath. There's no reason that that wouldn't work. There's definitely enough height. So do I have to try and do this manually? Is that what the game is telling me right now? All right, let me see what I can do with these stairs. All right, this is kind of the best I could come up with. I don't know. Don't worry about the color scheme. Though having said that, I'll probably just leave this, but this is what we've got. <laughs> just chose these stairs, some lights. Can I get up here? Is that even possible? Because sometimes stairs and platforms are glitchy. Uh, although it looks like we're good. It looks like we're good to go. So I have a column going up the middle because the game has glitches with stair railings now. So half of these didn't have railings. So even though it looks like there's a big hole in the middle, there is actually a wall all the way through the middle. So I guess it maybe doesn't feel, you know, let's jump in here. It doesn't feel that nice in here. It is black uh, everywhere. <laughs> uh, especially going around these, you know, I think we need more windows. <laughs> Yeah, you walk here, you get a nice view. You get like little glimpses. So at least it doesn't feel, maybe it doesn't feel as claustrophobic. <laughs> well, look, I might need to change the color scheme in there, okay? I don't know what those are gonna look like on the outside. Oh, you know what, that's actually okay. We've got a few little windows that going up around the column. And then the bigger ones on this side. Maybe we could get, you know, no, I'm gonna keep the big ones. I like that, I like it. Look, it did feel more open when there wasn't a column in the middle, but we just have to do that, okay? All right, next job, I'm gonna do the layout and win. Yeah, actually, let's do the windows first. The windows and doors should be pretty straightforward. Ooh, actually, these sort of leaning windows could be kind of cool. Maybe I'll do those back here. It sort of adds a little bit of extra depth. I might just rotate this tree so it's not going through the window. Ooh, that's cool. Obviously, lots of glass through here. Oh, that looks so bright and nice already. Uh, and I'm, I'm probably gonna have to remove some of these windows so we can figure out where, um, you know, we're gonna need walls for kitchens and, and bathrooms and stuff. So I think, what if we do, no, I'll just do some on those side and then I might leave a wall there because that should line up with this, yeah, middle section here. That's good. Oh, it's a little off, hang on. Sorry, it should be about there. It lines up with this section of the building. Okay, and then why don't we leave that for now? Cause that, that is a balcony, but we'll figure it out. So we've got the stairs here. So that's obviously gonna have to be open. Maybe just behind that can be a bathroom. That seems like a pretty easy conclusion. Uh, I do have a huge door here, but this can probably be a bedroom like that. And then it has a balcony. Not great with that adjust, that sort of thing. Actually, you know what? This can be a wardrobe right there. And actually this bathroom can then be bigger. So that can be a bathroom for this bedroom. Easy. And then I'm thinking we separate that balcony. So they have, well, actually this bedroom has two balconies. You know what? Maybe we should do it differently. Maybe it should be a shorter balcony to there. Hang on. You know what? I'll just do it this way. I'm going to dr drag that down to here. And I got another large window on that side. So this bedroom has like lots of uh, glass, very open. 
I actually want to make it a little bit, it kind of looks a little small. Problem is we are around the edge of the lot, so it means this balcony would be a bit smaller, but I think that's okay. I'd rather the bedroom be a bit bigger. So obviously this is going to be like a living space pretty much, but that that means I can definitely fit some stuff around here. We, get, we need more bedrooms for sure, I guess. Can we just do another bathroom like here somewhere? I guess it kind of makes sense as well, because if you had like the bathrooms here, the bathrooms here, like the plumbing could go down the central like stairs and all that. I don't know how it would actually work, but that's what I imagine. So maybe another big bathroom there. I think that could be a bedroom. I might make this bathroom a bit bigger. It's a long bathroom, but it'll work. Because then we have that corridor here. Obviously this has no windows, but we'll have access to the balcony in a second. Can probably use a big double door. One of, whoops, one of these, like that. So then they have this balcony here. Well, actually, again, I can make this balcony here smaller and then I could have a window here for this bathroom. So this is, I guess, the main bedroom bathroom window there. So then, you know, you can't see it from this bedroom. Now this bathroom, I guess, is going to be more of like a, a family or just like a bathroom for the house. So if I have a window, I definitely just need to have some privacy there. I guess what I could potentially do is again, just make the balcony smaller. But I think we'll just have to do some blinds or something because I, I don't I don't want to make this balcony any smaller because I think that's quite nice. OK, so then over here, I think I think three bedrooms would be good. So we got one, two and then a third one here. somewhere would be nice. I really like this space. Can we put the bed the bedroom here then. I mean, I guess it might be a bit odd to have this bedroom sort of between two living spaces, but I guess it helps break up this and this, which would be like kitchen dining area, maybe or maybe living room, maybe kitchen dinings over here. Kind of interesting. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Do I want to do another balcony out this side? Potentially, because this, this wall is a bit flat. You know, there's not a lot going on out here. And we definitely have room. Well, I think I'm happy with the layout. I think that's kind of all I need to do. Um, although, should this bedroom just line up with that wall just for the sake of, you know, lining up? Probably. Where's the... Okay, we have a column here. Can we use that as like a feature? Have this come through the house? The HVAC unit or something up here? <laughs> I mean, it kind of ruins the look though, doesn't it? Let me just get rid of that. Do I want that up here? Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't do it on the roof. It does kind of ruin the look of the roof, doesn't it? But I might like this. We can still have stuff... Mm, it... What about... Mm. Never mind. Let's just <laughs> let's just move on. Okay, I need I definitely need another window here somewhere. I think now these two are sort of lined up. I think are they? Wait, hang on. No. Yeah, now they're lined up. That makes more sense. Uh, that one's opposite that, and I think the kitchen will go here. Maybe this will be kitchen, dining, and living, and then this will also be a living space. It's kind of look. It's you know. It's hard to say. Anyway, let's get some walls in here. Well, if my camera fell, I think I will continue this column. Well, this column from this. The, the, hello, game. Why is it not? What is it? Why am I diagonal? What's happening? There we go. This column from the stairwell, because I think that'll be a good little motif to carry up. So that's our stairwell there. I do think we definitely need like warm wood tones in here because everything right now is very, uh, very stark. Stone, white, concrete, or black. I like the, the wood doors here on this. And uh, for this little bathroom there. And then I guess for this bedroom. Somewhere over here will do. So I definitely, yeah, I definitely think we need some accent walls of like wood or something. Or, you know, a little bit of warmth. It's a little bit, uh, bit chilly up here. But we'll have to figure that out. Okay. All right. So I'm just doing this bedroom here. Uh, we've got a big rug at the bottom. Uh, I've got all the curtains around there. One thing I realized though is I was leaving that for the wardrobe, but, uh, with the current layout of the room, it's not really possible because I got windows on every wall. So maybe I just get rid of this back window because it does just face the mountain. And then that would allow me to actually move the bed to this side. So we'll use our built in get together wardrobe. Actually, does it have a nice wood? No, I guess white is the best. I want to match those doors, but we can't, so that'll do. <laughs> anyway, so then that's nice, because then the bed still gets a beautiful view. Okay, <laughs> I was trying to, like I said, this lot might be a little annoying with, with the camera game. Thank you. Oh gosh, even in this mode, how did that happen? Uh, but yeah, that is a beautiful view. Look at that. Okay, I'm happy with that. We'll definitely need a couch in here as well. A love seat, if you will, if you may. Eh, just something like that. It's pretty simple. A little couch, a little seating area. And sit down, have a read. Though, granted, there's no books in here, so maybe I'll add some. Yeah, I'll just put it there on the bedside table. There you go. Some books. Now, outside, we got a little, we have a whole private balcony here, so I think this might be a really nice place. Oh, we can use a lot of this kind of stuff, I feel. Some of these bigger pieces that I never use, I feel like will be really good on the exterior here. One of them, this one, the growing together one. I'm gonna get a couple of those in here. The door opens this way. Can we fit like two of these here? Is that possible? Like, could we, it's maybe a bit cramped. Is that, yeah, because even if you're trying to sit next to each other, like you can't really do it. So why don't we just not do that? <laughs> why don't we just do a couple of nice outdoor chairs? Then we'll do a little drink tray so you can have nice drinks out there. Now, if I go nighttime, oh, there's actually enough light on the balcony. I was gonna say, we might need to add lights there, but I think it's actually okay. 
Uh, the roof is painted wrong. I'm, I will go around and fix, because I've adjusted a lot since we originally built. Oh gosh, like this roof over here. <laughs> uh, I'll go around and fix everything at the end. Likewise, I think the ceiling that we did for the the whole place. Uh, yeah, some of this, yeah, like that has changed. Uh, yeah, you know, there's, there's a lot of details we're gonna do, but we're gonna work through this. I'm, I'm happy with that. All right, the bathroom, I'll just, I guess I'll just whip up both of these real quick. Okay, so the bathrooms are pretty simple. I basically did the same thing in each. We got the shower tub combo, toilet, sink, and camera dipping down. Um, yeah, pretty basic. Anyway, let's go into the next bedroom, which is here. So I guess I'll do the same sort of thing. Door opens from that side, so we'll get a curtain there. Now it does look a little dark at the moment, but to be fair, that's because the sun is coming from this side of the lot at the moment. I think maybe, ugh, actually most of the day that room's a little dark. Look, not the best bedroom in the house, okay? But you know, the living spaces get all the nice light, okay? You know, I'm thinking maybe floorboards would actually be nicer for most of this. That definitely looks a lot warmer and a lot nicer. <laughs> I kind of like the industrial vibe. Industrial is probably the wrong word. Um, but with the, all the concrete that we have, because obviously this house, you know, built on concrete, a lot of the actual structure will be concrete. I like that vibe in here. Uh, it does make it feel a little bit more cold, but I kind of like it. So kind of going with it. Okay, I think that's good. We just got a few little decorations around the room, a nice rug, a dresser, a couple of plants and a bookcase. You know, the entrance to the room is a little cramped, but I feel like, you know, you're getting everything you can in the room possible. They do also have a balcony. Which is pretty nice. I might just grab that same wall trim, fix that. Yeah, our balconies are just gonna have plants all on them. <laughs> That's my theory anyway. Oh, you know what we need? We need like the a swing that you can hang from the ceiling so you could just have a bench here that's like a swing. How amazing would that be? That's what I want out here. I think here I will add a uh, a lounger. Actually, maybe the other one. Yeah, this one has like some of the nice wood tones, which we're, you know, we're trying to go heavy on the wood in this place. Because the building itself is very concrete-y. Uh, I might do it the other way. So this would be like a little bit more undercover than the chair. I don't know if I can get on that actually. We'll, we'll have to figure that out. Ooh, you know, a little meditation area out here would be really nice actually. Maybe we'll do that. You can like sit out here and meditate. Ooh, that'd be beautiful. All right, the living room I guess is gonna be this room. Oh, as the main living room. And then we might have more couches in here and that. But I think this will be where we have the main setup. Big TV, big curved TV, okay. Okay, nice little TV area. Put a few little pizza clutter on it. Nice big like TV on that wall, cabinet. And then we gotta get a big couch, of course. Now, I guess the only sad thing about this is, you, you know, you're facing away from all the windows, but at the same time, this this is the sitting room, okay? This is the, this is the, you're here to watch TV. You're not here to enjoy the view, okay? <laughs> Actually, the concrete couch would be really good for this. It like, definitely suits the house. I love this horse ranch rug. It's so good. Is it weird to have the same rug in these two rooms? But I really like this color. Maybe I need to change that one. I really like this um, pattern on this rug. I think it looks really good. Ooh, that leaf can like sort of tuck under this extended out window. That's kind of fun. Yeah, alrighty. I'm enjoying these coffee tables in this house because, you know, like I said, we're trying, actually, you know what, this, maybe the, this flooring in here is okay. Ooh, no, that does, that does really degrade the warmth, doesn't it? <laughs> I say maybe the tile would have worked. We could maybe do it in part of it. No, I think maybe it could potentially work in this kitchen area, kitchen dining area. Maybe we just need to do like some sort of door or separation here. I'm not sure. All right, we gotta do this, right? We gotta do it. I mean, do we? Actually, I don't know if it does suit. <laughs> I thought, I don't know, I thought the um, the actual shade was a little less shaggy. If it was like a straight cut edge, it might be better. Does it have one of those? No. All right. Well, maybe just the um, book nook night. Book nook night? The book nook light is always good. Should it be the other side? I mean, it does make more sense to have them over here, but we have less room over this side. Then I've got all this space, which has nothing in it. <laughs> so we obviously need to put something there. I feel like this bookcase on this wall, okay. I know white you're like oh but okay it's gonna work so i'm gonna keep this thing maybe it can go here i don't know if it takes up too much hall space oh that's all right actually it is a, i did put it a little bit in the wall so that sort of cuts back on space a bit and then we'll do like a something above that i think we gotta do some activities ping pong <laughs> well the thing is you're gonna see it from uh <laughs> the kitchen and area so i mean it's either gonna be like a piano it's gotta be Chess, it's got to be one of those things, you know, some, something classy. Do we do a piano? That actually seems way too big for this house, to be honest. Like the, the small wall height, that, that seems so big. Also, this would be a nightmare to get in this house because you could not bring it up the stairs. So I'm going to go with realism and say no. <laughs> like most of this house is realistic. Right, I'm not sure what kind of dining table we're going to do yet. So I'm not sure what chairs 
will go best, but I might do the curtains sort of a little bit off, like they're in sort of a different spot, mostly because it kind of looks cool, but also because if I put it over that corner, it'll cut through the plant, so it'll look a little silly. Oh, actually it looks a bit, mm. okay, camera, thank you. Okay, uh, <laughs> okay, camera, thank you. Uh, duh. Okay, camera. It does glitch out a little bit through the windows, but I guess that's all right, because, I mean, again, most of the time the, the walls will be down anyway. Oh, maybe like, oh, hello, tree. Oh, like that. I mean, that's fine. I'm happy with that. I'm not going to do any curtains on that door area. This feels empty, but I don't really know what to do there. Oh, that sort of gold rug is kind of fun. I like that. Although I feel like we need to maybe do a different color on this then. Okay, I should probably stop adding plants in here. I was about to put another plant here, but <laughs> there's so many plants in this house. Look, I know uh, we do a lot of plants here in The Sims 4, okay? But it look, look, it looks good. And the beautiful thing is because it's not real, you can just do so many plants. Because if you had this many plants in real life, it would be so annoying. <laughs> but it's a game, so I'm going to put as many as I want. All right, I I'm actually pretty happy with that. Um, I suppose this doesn't have to be so far in the corner because we've got all that space, but I actually, I don't mind it. I think it looks quite nice. I'm not sure I'm, I'm feeling these. The boucle. Maybe the more, no, actually we've got a very geometric square couch, so a similar armchair is required. Let me just try these ones again. Now that, it, the reason I didn't really like them before is because they were in the middle of the room, but maybe over here it works okay. What about another full-sized one? Could do that. Is that too much maybe? Blue? You know, I actually don't hate the blue. I think with the daylight and the, the water outside, the blue in the rug, we got some blue here, blue back there. I actually think that's kind of nice and not something I would normally ever pick. So I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do it. We're gonna do it, okay. All right, so I'm working on this bedroom. I made it like a kid's room, shared room. Got a blue and a pink sort of side. Uh, it's a little bit of fun. I did a black dresser here just because I thought if I do more, like I got blue right there with the couches. I'm like, am I going too blue? You know what? Maybe not. I do like the blue. Because <laughs> black, you know what? Uh, you know what? I'm going to do it. We're going to go blue. It's a blue house now. <laughs> oh, one thing I really, yeah, actually one thing we need to do, we got to use the horse ranch cloud ceiling. This one. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this one. Um, then I just do need to change this wall. I, I kind of liked it, but with the ceiling, I don't think it's working. Maybe just this pastel pop one. It's nice. This maybe needs to go lighter then. Maybe to that blue. Yeah, that's a bit better. So it's more, a little bit more pastel overall. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is like, we got the dinosaurs and stuff. I really got to get the blue lava lamp. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why, but I really like that. Oh, that's really cute. I like these. <laughs> I like this underwater theme over here. It's fun. I like that. I don't want to go too far. So I think I'm pretty happy with that. I think we need like a workspace for the kids. Maybe like a table or something. I wish you could have two uh, seats at this desk, but I'm pretty sure you can only do one, right? Yeah. I don't think I want two of these. I think that's too much. So maybe we do one of those and then like a smaller one here. And then if I put like something behind it, so it sort of, you know, goes with it a little bit. Ooh, I gotta use these in the house. Oh yes, this is good. Can I do it out there? Does it look weird with the door? Okay, I can't see. Oh, okay, yeah, I just gotta move it over a little bit so it doesn't clip in the door. Sorry, I got distracted. I was doing the desk, but then I, I saw these. I was like, yeah, we definitely gotta use these somewhere in the house. Yeah, you can't see it there, so that's fine. Cool. All right, so that's their balcony. All right, back to this. I'm not sure what's going behind this desk, I mean, I could just do a shelf there. Oh, this one's kind of good. I'm going to scale this down and then maybe just line it up with that. It's kind of cute. But then, yeah, you still get your own little desk space here. Put like a mug on here or something. Maybe a little book. So we can put stuff on that shelf so it's not like blocking the desk. Do I think it's a good idea? All right, that's that's a pretty good room. Uh, it's a little blank there. Maybe a mirror would be good. We could actually also do a height uh, thing. Is this a, No, that's not a height thing. <laughs> that's not a height thing. Where are my height things at? That's the base game one. Here we go, this one. Oh, let's do the cow plant. Do that there, move that over. Cool. So I don't think I got one light. Oh, I got lamps. I was gonna say, I only got one light, but it's still pretty, pretty? Still plenty bright in here. We could maybe use light over the desks. What about one there, one there? It's on this wall, it sort of lights up that half of the room. Yeah, okay, that's good. I'm happy with that room. Okay, kitchen, dining, and I guess the outdoor space. Oh, actually I didn't do anything on their balcony. I probably should. Uh, there is a roof above it. Well, I guess we don't actually have any like toy chests or anything. Can we do it out on the balcony? Is that weird? Does it matter? Like, can we do like a modern dollhouse out here? It's undercover. I think it could be, let's do it. I, I think it'll be fun. Cause then we don't, cause normally we have to like scale these down. But let's use it at full size, full balcony. Let's go. This balcony actually has nothing on it too, besides plants, but I guess not every balcony needs something. You know what? Oh, actually I was gonna put an easel, but I feel like an easel probably makes sense out over here somewhere or over here. If you're looking out over this way, you know? But we can have multiple. Why can't we have more than one? That's very silly. That's closed-minded to think that way. So we're gonna have one here. 
Okay, anyway. <laughs> All right, kitchen. All right, we have so much space here, so I'm not gonna be shy about taking up space. All right, I'm thinking like a kitchen layout like this. It's huge, but you know, why not? We'll have a big table over here. Like I was originally thinking maybe a second sitting area, but I don't think we need more couches. So I think it's just gonna be literally huge kitchen, big dining area, and then like barbecue and outdoor dining as well. And then I guess over here can be other outdoor activity. Maybe we could do a ping pong table here. Although, you know what, playing ping pong out here would probably be really annoying because you'd whack it, it'd go off the edge and goodbye ping pong ball. <laughs> we could get some shelving, which I know is still a little bit long, but I'm gonna bring it in. I'll overlap it inside the cabinet because that should be fine. They do have lights, so it's kind of, you know, you can kind of see it, but um, then I'm thinking, what if we get like these at the end, like cap off the kitchen or something, but in, I don't know, it gets just white. Mm, it's all right, I don't mind that. Now I did blue up here. I was just kind of experimenting. I'm not, I'm not really sure what colors we're going for yet. I don't think I want blue down the bottom because of the gold. I mean, maybe the green is good. I, I feel like I'm always using a green, but the green, it is good. I might do white on the top then. I kind of want to do mirrors behind the kitchen to make this place feel even bigger, you know? Do we like that or do we not? I don't know. I'm undecided, but let's go with it for now. Oh, I can't put anything in here because this is like an island and not that kind of bench. Because <laughs> then I place it in, it's on the inside, which you can't see, okay. You know, Home Chef Hustle really could have added a new kitchen bin that had like a lid on it. That'd be nice. The only lidded bin we have is a, uh, a diaper pail, which <laughs> not the best for a kitchen bin. Let's get some, I want some like books or something in here. Or so, we need something. Where's those book nook books that stack? That's what we need. Oh, they're way bigger than I thought. I thought it was like a nice little pile. <laughs> okay, never mind. Ah, oh, the game just crashed. Awesome. <laughs> All right, I think I'm liking this. I had to completely redo it because of the game crash, but I like this layout a little bit better. I've actually moved the stove to the center. We have a nice range hood hanging down. We still got the mirror behind that, which I, I think I'm gonna keep. I do like it. I think it worked out in the end. It just means when the walls are down, you're always gonna see it. But I mean, I think that's fine. All right, we need a nice big dining area. Does it say table? We do need a big table, but we need a big dining area. The whole area is gonna be big. Like we gotta, I think we need like a chunky table. Like this looks chunky. Like I really like this table, but I feel like it's kind of too thin almost for this area. And it's like chunk. And like, it needs to look like it's really heavy, you know? I'm actually gonna just put the walls down because I feel like the windows in this game are so sheeny. It's like sort of ruining what the colors actually look like. So I'm trying to base it on the outlook here. And I think doing like this is pretty nice. That color might be a bit better actually. Oh, do we go blue? Is blue my new thing today? I kind of like it. The table wood doesn't quite match, but we could go darker potentially, maybe more like that. Kind of classy. I think I'm liking it. I'm not liking this. If it didn't have these two at the front, it'd be nicer. I'll do something else there. I kind of feel like the table needs a skylight. Let's see what we can do. Okay, I, I think that's it. I think that makes more sense. Now, I still want a chandelier. I think a chandelier would still look cool because it could probably hang. Oh yeah, is that too much? Hang on, we're, we're trying to go like coastal theme here. It's kind of like a sea anemone. <laughs> is, wait, is that, no, an urchin. I'm thinking of a, it's like a sea urchin. That's what it looks like. But no, I don't think so. Oh, I forgot about these. Oh, I kind of want to use these, but. Oh, maybe I'll put it above this because I've got this little side table here, which I thought was kind of cool. What if we put that there? Is that? Hmm. You know what? It might look better if I just put this here instead of shelves, right? Where just did that? No. Oh well. Because it's like in the lighting category, so I didn't see it. Okay, and then we definitely need some table centerpiece, like from Growing Together. Do orange, because that contrasts the blue of the water. Very nice. I'm doing one of those things that they always do where they group a bunch of plants together. Except I'm doing it manually because that's the way it should be. <laughs> And, and to be honest, the view is kind of the decoration, right? Like, what, what else do we need? I think I'm done, to be honest, in this room. All right, and then out here, we want to do a barbecue area for sure. Of course, we need the big outdoor table and all the chairs. Pretty much, you know, the stand that we always do. Or should, hey, where'd my door here go? Or should we do it, um... Hey, where'd my... Hey, where did all my doors go? Oh, no, at some point did I... Hey, where did this door go? Is it just the doors that disappear? I literally don't see anything else that disappeared. All my big doors disappeared at some point. The heck? What if we did a bit of glass there and then I'm gonna do a wall here. Ooh, I never get to use this this plant here, this little uh, ball. I'm just, I'm just feeling like we should have a bunch of plants out here and pots and stuff. All right, I like that area, that's really nice. Okay, then over here, I think we should have maybe at least 
three lounge chairs, just because I feel like it's, you know, a pretty big house. I think lighting out here, we could probably just do some ceiling lights because there's a roof all along it. I think actually just those two is enough. I don't want it super bright. I think just a little bit, just like enough is good. Is there like a big sort of fun mirror we could put out here? I feel like I mean, we could just do that one maybe. A bit of fun. Yeah, why not? And then I might just put a, you know what? what am, oh, actually, you know what? No, no, no. What am I doing? This would be like so good for like an outdoor fireplace. Oh, heck yeah. Doesn't have to be like outdoor, but we could just use like this one. I suppose I could have left the mirror there actually. You know, I'm going down to two lounges because three was actually now too much with the outdoor seating. Like I'm doing like a little sitting area here. You know what? I'm going to use the outdoor set. I'm going to use this set. The other one's a little big. Also they're concrete. I'm I know, you know, this is Sims, but this is, you know, suspended over the house. I don't know how much weight we could put out here. <laughs> so, oh, let's go like the blue. Yeah, I'm in my blue era, guys. We're going blue suburban on this. Oh, wait, that's taken. That's copyrighted. I take it back. <laughs> kind of like this. I don't get to use this that much. Got to get another easel. Do one there, maybe. All right, that's pretty cool. I mean, there's just a few plants, a few little things out here. It's not too much. But I think that's the house all furnished. Uh, was there a, there was a window. This window disappeared too. At some point I went to my window. Oh, you know what? It was probably when I was messing with walls and stuff up here. I bet you that's what happened. All right, that's looking cool. So I guess the last little thing we got to do is just a little bit of landscaping. Um, I don't really want to do much down here. I think just like some terrain painting because, you know, this is all underneath the house and trees and stuff. It probably wouldn't be this green. I'm just going to put some dirt sort of down here. Amongst other plants, probably around the actual port there. Just sort of blended in. And you can see it's quite sandy around here too, so I'm gonna do the light dirt as well to blend in with the rest of the area. And that's probably all we need to do. I mean, we could add like swings or something down here if we wanted, something like that. Oh, I guess what we should do is like, I, I know, don't worry, the mailbox is here, I'm gonna move it. Might use this one though, the sort of more sleek looking one. And of course we need a bin. I'll just use, use that one too, why not? Bit of fun. All right, so those will go there. Gotta get the swing set, there you go. <laughs> is that a bit random? I mean, it kind of is, but whatever. I was thinking like a, a pond or something might be nice, but I don't think it makes a whole lot of sense to have a pond, even though I know in the past they definitely built a huge pond on this lot. But you know, we're right by the water and it's up higher, so it wouldn't really gather there. So this is our lot. So from, oh gosh, from this side, you know, it looks pretty tall and uh, it's in there. You know, I, I think it is hiding well amongst the trees. We've got the big black concrete pillars holding it up. But I think where the best angle is definitely this angle out over here, where you sort of look back over the lot and it's sort of up in amongst over the trees and you get the beautiful views out over the island. I think that is such a cool idea. Thank you so much to the Bearded Architect for the inspiration because I think this looks sweet. All right, let's have a look inside. Uh, I am not gonna walk up all those stairs because that'll be annoying. But here's like the main sort of hallway when we come in. Got the main bedroom just in here, which actually, you know, I think this turned out really nice. I did this so long ago now, this build has taken me way longer than I thought it would. But this turned out beautifully. Nice little private balcony, beautiful views all out of the side there. You know, we did lose that one window here at the back, but I think it's okay because we got such great views anyway. And then down this way, we got the bathroom. Yes. <laughs> hey, my, okay. A few things did disappear. My sink disappeared. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for other stuff. And also this is lower than it should be. It should be there. <laughs> Yeah, the bath look, the bathrooms are bathrooms, okay? Don't expect too much from those. All right, then this is uh, bedroom, I guess, number two or number one, I guess. We had the main bed and this is the other bedroom. Uh, I really, I actually really like that flamingo picture. I don't know why, it really speaks to me. So we got it up on the wall there. Little desk area, books, dresser, and then out in the balcony, you got a meditation spot and a nice lounge chair. You know, the views from this room aren't as good, but it's still beautiful over the forest, over the trees. I mean, who wouldn't want that? And then back through this way. We come to the lounge area, which has beautiful views out over the water. And we've got some nice windows that sort of lean back. You can almost like feel like you're stepping over the edge and looking down. So that's pretty cool. Huge TV though, don't worry. And actually what's really nice, I just noticed, if you're sitting here watching TV, you can still see out over this way as well. Like, I don't know, if it, even though this room was a little darker because it doesn't get the direct light, still pretty dang nice. All right, then through this way, we've got the shared room, which I had to completely redo after my game crashed, but it is all there now. I really quite like this. I have a dollhouse out in the balcony too. And then back through here, we got the kitchen and dining area, which you know what? I'm actually really happy with that dining space. I think that turned out really well. I'm very, I love that color. I love the chairs. I love the light coming in. Oof. And then we've got the kitchen over this way as well, which 
comes with a bin. And we do have the sink and the dishwasher is hiding over this side down there. Um, and then of course out here we've got the barbecue and outdoor dining looking out over the water. Oh, look at that. You can, oh, we should put a telescope out here so you can look at the neighbors. What are they up to down there? Hmm. And then on the sort of walkway in between, we have some nice lounges. We got a nice seating area with a fireplace. I mean, fireplace. That we needed that. That was a good idea. Uh, easel, and then just a few plants. I mean, plenty of room to add stuff as well. But yeah, that's the house. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to my top level members for supporting the channel. And of course, thank you to all my members who get an exclusive video every single week. So if you're not a member, you should sign up and you'll get access to the backlog of now over 40 videos. And just last week, I actually did a three hour video where I was just building Lego and doing a Q&A. So if that sounds interesting, check it out. If not, I do a bunch of other extra stuff in those videos as well. You can always check out the playlist on my channel. If you go to my channel page, scroll down, there's a members playlist and you can actually see every video that's there. So if you're interested, check it out. But yeah, there you go. That's that house. Um, I will link the original inspiration down below. I will also link a download for this below. Otherwise you can find it on the gallery, James Turner YT. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Make sure to leave your comments, suggestions and feedback down below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.